Hello everybody, here is the Samsung Ativ Smart PC. Now, this very first video I'm going to create is going to be extremely easy, extremely basic, showing you how to navigate around the device, and here we go. So, when you have your finger on the very bottom of the device and you slide it onto the screen, it'll actually pull up a little bar that shows you your all apps. Now, it's the exact same thing if you do it on the top as well too. And then on the right hand side, when you swipe your hand on into the screen, this is where it's going to show you your search, the share, start devices and the settings icon now I'll get more into those in terms of especially the settings in you know later videos when I show you more diving into on this device so first off the more generality easy stuff so on the left hand side this is where if you swipe in from the left hand side this is where it will show you your previously used apps that you have opened and then I'm gonna press this middle button down here on the very bottom that's gonna take me back home and it, also on the left hand side if you're to swivel Basically, when you go on the left-hand side, when you swipe your finger in to the right and left again, then it's going to give you a tray of the previously used apps. And so it's a way that you can bring it on to the screen specifically, or if you want to delete it, you just swipe, slide it onto the screen and then swipe it all the way down, basically swiping it off the screen to the, towards the bottom. So I'll do that again. Here's the desktop, and I'm swiping it all the way towards the bottom. And now I have no other used apps. That's right here. I'm going to head back home. And that is how that is done. Now, in terms of you moving around these icons on the home screen, there's two different ways you can do it. Number one, you can press and hold on the icon, and then you can move it up, down, and then move it anywhere you want to. And the reason why I say up, down, then move it wherever you want to is because if you press and hold and you try to move it left or right, the screen is actually thinking you want to navigate left to right. So, best way is press and hold, then move it up or down, then you can put it anywhere you want it to go just like that or this is probably going to be the easier way whichever way works for you I guess just do a little flick of your finger onto any of these icons and it puts up a little check mark on there and then it gives you a couple options you can unpin it from the start you can uninstall it or it gives you the option of all apps as well some of these icons here it'll show you you can make it larger or smaller um, just depending on which one you're looking at now Let's say that you want to move this entire category, this entire area. Maybe you use this, you know, more often than this area right here. So if you do a pinch to zoom, you do a little flick of your finger there, puts a little thumbs up on, or I'm sorry, a little check mark on there. Then this is where you can move it before the other category, and this is how you can move around the big areas. And so let's say that uh, we previously made this all of our game icons. If I do a little flick. Then on the very bottom, I'm going to name group. So I'm going to name this group probably, uh, actually, let's do it what it's really, you know, set at right now. Let's just do settings. And just so you know what the other out, you know, the looks of these keyboards look like is on the very bottom right hand side, if you press the keyboard icon, then you can do the split keyboard. You also have one that, where you can hand write as well too. Or this one right here actually will drop. The very last one, you probably can't see it because it's so bright on you know the camera is that it just drops down the keyboard entirely but this is my favorite keyboard I'm gonna hit enter and now it's referred to as settings and so now when I look at this there's my group of settings and you can do the same thing with all the rest and you just move them around do whatever you want to this is how you customize it now here is the view of the Internet Explorer from the tile on the start menu now this will look a little bit different than the normal you know desktop view and then the internet that will look just like a normal laptop that you see every day just like the normal you know Windows 7 but here is what the Internet Explorer on Windows 8 looks like I kinda like this view better I like the categories and the groups better a lot more pictures less words um, which is maybe why I like it <laughs> uh, so if you swipe in from the bottom or the top this is where you have your back icon your search bar and then the other icons such as pinning and settings things like that on the top is where you have your different tabs and then this is where you have settings and then also you can add more of the tabs on the top so let's say you know I want to add another tab just press the little plus icon this is where you can type it in or, or go to your frequent or maybe the, the favorites but I'm just gonna exit out of that one I'm just gonna show you a couple of these so here is what the tab looks like let's say that um, you know, you're reading something, you see something cool, oh cool, I'm gonna check out something about this IRS, something about, you know, can't touch. So, of the money. And so this is what you read, and let's say you wanna go back. So instead of, you know, pressing on the screen somewhere, or swiping up the from the bottom, and then pressing the back icon, one thing that you can actually do 
is on the screen itself. Just move it to the left. Or I should say you should swipe it to the right, which is moving it over to the left. And so that's exactly what this is. And then if you want to go back to it, then you just bring it back to where it was. So that's one thing that I kind of like with the internet. And here is the view of the normal desktop. And how you get into there is just you go on to desktop app. And then here you go. Now it looks just like your normal desktop, laptop, things like that. It's going to operate pretty much the exact same way. And then also in terms of the icons on there, you know, you're going to have to double press on them to open them up, just like a normal desktop. And then, you know, you can download anything that you would normally do. Like I downloaded iTunes already. I went to samsungkeys.com. I downloaded the Samsung software onto here. Got the Norton Antivirus. And then you can download your Photoshops. I mean, you can download anything that you would normally do on a normal laptop and desktop. That is the big difference between this right here, which is an x86, compared to an RT, uh, which is where you can only get apps and things. But this actually has softwares that you can download. Um, and then I have opened up iTunes already. Now, I have yet to download anything onto this device in terms of music. Um, you know, onto this device from this device. But what I have done was I have 101 songs that's originally on here. And how I did it was I used the USB port on the very top. So just normal USB 2.0. And I plugged in the Galaxy S3 onto here. And then I did a simple drag and drop. It's actually really easy to do, just like a normal computer. And so now I've got my music to let me go all day. Got the speakers on the left and on the right hand side as well too. And this is the opening, you know, video that I'm going to make for the Samsung Ative Smart PC. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, and if you guys want to learn more about this device, make sure you guys subscribe. So then this way I can make more in-depth videos to let you learn more about these devices.